Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Mortal Kombat Armageddon. <laughs> uh, we left off with, oh my god, the lame Moloch, but the people have spoken. We're not doing Blaze next. We're doing meat. So uh, yeah, it's meat time. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, th this winner right here, me. <laughs> He's the cool. <laughs> He's not cool. <laughs> Let's see. All right. You know what's funny? I still don't. Kai is the one I keep forgetting about the most. Now I keep saying that, I'm remembering him. <laughs> but still, good lord. All right, let's play this meat man. Meaty boy. <laughs> uh, you can tell, like, I am doing better than I was yesterday with the recording. I realized that my voice was shot with the amount of streaming I did, so I think it was best if I just took the break and made this late. Because, uh, you know what? That's fine, and I'm glad I did because now my voice feels better. I'm still tired as hell, but I know I just have to eat something uh, when I finish here. And uh, before you say, as you why didn't you? I, I will. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> it's only 6.30. <laughs> as of recording, this is fine. I actually have the rice cooker going, so it's fine. <laughs> Plus these Mortal Kombat recordings literally don't take too long to do. Even if I get stuck on a boss, it's not bad. So, yeah, we're okay. <laughs> I am very sleepy, though, but I still want to play Tekken. <laughs> it's not terrible. I'm just in the Tekken mood. All I want to do is play Tekken. I just I just want to play Soft Boy Dragon off and just go on ranked and enjoy myself. Meet up friends and thing and make friends because it's fun and I love it. I have Tekken Fight Club nights. It's great. <laughs> I know that just sounds silly, but like I've been having a thing where I haven't been meeting up with people in real life, so to say, like all I do is look and then go home. And it is no fault of my friends. They have their own issues. I get it. Don't worry. I'm not guilting them. I just have a very small friend group of like physically around me sort of thing. That's all. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. And it, it'd be silly to expect people who have like either kids or just a lot of like health issues and that to just drop everything and use up their goddamn spoons on me. <laughs> Because, uh, and, like, the spoon thing is about, like, how much, like, mental, um, not even mental, like, physical even, uh, you're able to spend because, uh, like, you know, like, say, going a full day of work, then doing some errands and that, and then whatever. Like, for, like, say, anyone that's not having, like, any health issues and that, that's like, oh, that's a breeze. But for someone that has health issues, you gotta understand, a full day's work is gonna be, like, that's it. <laughs> That's too much, you know? So, yeah, I'm not blaming my friends on that. And I, I wouldn't want them to waste their spoons on me, especially if it's just, like, dumb bullshit. <laughs> and I know that sounds like low self-esteem. Oh, I'm not worth it. No, I get it. Don't worry. <laughs> but that's why I have my fight friends on uh, Discord. And we chat and we have our fight club. And I'm going to get to spike up my patootie. It's fine. <laughs> and that's why I have my Discord friends. That's why, like, uh, Wednesday night Mario Kart nights for me are, like, the most important hangouts for me. Because I just love hanging out and doing Mario Kart. It's caught in time. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> it's good conversation and all that. So, you know, it's... It, like I said, it's you yeah, find other ways. Like, I legit <laughs> want to find out if my city has a freaking, like art thing or something that's not aimed towards children and wine moms <laughs> and uh like you know just have like kind of a hangout thing or something right but uh, it's hard there's no well there's an fgc i think in my city i know i'm not like uh, cutting back but that's fine i know there's just, like fgc in my city but the one place where it's held is closed now so i don't know if you know there is one? There's a good way to put it. I guess, like, going on the city. There we go. Got her. 
uh, going on like the city's Reddit or something, I might find something. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I need a social life. <laughs> Just to be honest, I do need a social life. <laughs> But, I mean, on the 30th of March, I'm going to see AEW live, and I'm going on my own, which is I, honestly a lot of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. It's the first time I'm going to a big event alone, and I'm okay with that, actually. Like, I know, like, a lot of people make fun of, like, oh, people go to concerts by themselves. Well, like, I'm here enjoying the music anyways. But, you know, like, wrestling show, yeah, I think that's fine going on my own. Oh, maybe I may make some friends, right? I gotta look at it that way. Maybe I'll also find some other 40-something year olds that like the dumb shit I do. <laughs> That's okay. No, I didn't look up any of Meat Scoops. Oh, well, I'll be back. <laughs> we got a little bonus Meat episode. Because I had to go talking. Anyways, I'll be back. Just have that head rolling, rolling, rolling. Come on, keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. Like, seriously, he just rolled his head. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, meaty loaf. <laughs> it was funny. I, I, God, I think this is just like the conversation I had with a friend of the channel, Dr. Butler, yesterday. We're talking about pizza. And I'm just like, damn, I want pizza now. And now I'm really craving pizza. <laughs> I know, of all the things I'm craving, right? Fight. But my, I think my sister's coming over, so like, uh, I'll just order pizza. It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, hold up. She was kicking my ass. I'm getting distracted by Jojo, who's really bad. Buddy, come on. Bad boy. Oh, you're so bad. I'm giving Jojo a butt pat, everyone. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> he just ripped his. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, don't tell me. Uh, is there a meat loop? A table flip? Oh my god, it's, it's a table flip loop. Oh my god, we got it. Okay, that worked, I guess. Jojo, you're a bad boy. He wants loving, though. We gotta understand. He's a little kitty, he's just a little guy. All he wants is love. Oh. <laughs> That's how I talk to my cats, okay? <laughs> Every time I see Jojo, I'm like, oh, yo, yo. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds so paint. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. He's looking at me like, why are you talking to the mic but saying the, the stuff you say to me like that? What the fuck? And she was like, go, why? <laughs> mother, why do you have to be like that, mother? <laughs> Oh my god, I really think that's so funny. They made a canon reason why frickin' uh, Motaro is on his, like, leggies. <laughs> like, there's a canon reason. Oh, the Tarkatans put a curse, so they lost their extra leg. Like, that? I don't think Motaro would be coordinated enough to enter the tournament. <laughs> Because he's like, oh, I lost my back legs, and he'd probably be like falling all over the place. Yeah, I'm making fun of you, Motaro. What do you have to say about that? Okay, fair. Got him. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of spaced out there because I got into the loop de loops. It's pretty great. <laughs> and it was this fight Blaze, who's getting his finale because Meat was going to take it from him. But the people said Blaze, so we're going to have Blaze as the finale, which actually that makes more sense. I mean, I'm with one of the people in the comments, so if I had it my way, which I mean, honestly, I do have it my way, but knowing me in uh, forgetting to record stuff. Um, Shao Kahn would have been the finale, but, you know, general thick thighs can wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> he's Shao Kahn right now, though. He's not General Kahn. Or General Shao. But, you know, whatever. I call him General Thick Thighs. It's just the way it is, okay? You know, it's just it's the way Edgy goes, right? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Blaze, why? No, just because I've been playing Tekken and not Mortal Kombat 1, I'm sorry. 
All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Got him! Heck yeah. Blazing and exploding in a blaze of glory. <laughs> All right, let's find out what Meat's story is, because the Meat's kind of lame, so uh, let's get meaty delicious with the meaty loaf. <laughs> Anyways, it's auto-saving, let's go. <laughs> Meat was an experiment who escaped Shang Tsung's flesh pits before he could be completely formed. As the other combatants fought, Meat rushed unseen to the top of the pyramid and defeated Blaze. Godlike energy enveloped him, giving him the power to shapeshift. With the ability to become anyone, Meat lost his sense of identity and disappeared into obscurity. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I just kind of disappeared in obscurity and called it a night. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, everyone. This is as you berserker. You know what? Actually, hold on. Meat just won by happenstance. Everyone was fighting. He's like, oh, I'm a sneaky boy and got all the power. And then it's like, oh, okay. I guess I'm a nobody now. Even though I escaped Shang Tsung's flesh pits. It sounds like a porno name, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Anyways, until next time, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I'll see y'all later. Bye now.